Okay, that completes our business part of the meeting. Do you, anyone have any general business? Yeah, I've got a joke. Do you want to hear a joke? Uh, oh, yes, yeah. please. Yeah, yeah, yes, a funny one. <laughs> a funny one. Did you hear about the blonde? Had to be a blonde. Who stayed up all night to see where the sun went. No. It finally dawned on her. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's didn't a joke. Isn't that funny, David? No, I didn't think it was funny at all. Oh, oh I did. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your sense of humour? Let's try a few more. Yes. Here's another one. You ready? What was the first animal in space? Space. Ha, huh, I know that. What? It's not funny. What is it? The cow jumped over the moon. Well, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I have one. Why did the people not like the restaurant on the moon? It had no atmosphere. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I've got one. When our solar system was formed, the sun was in charge. So the planet started a revolution. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't laugh? No. Well, I've got another one. I hope it's better than the last one. Well, it's not really a joke, it's just what, what I'm doing at the moment. I'm reading a book about anti-gravity, and I found it impossible to put down. <laughs> Yay, very good. Whoa. <laughs> well, here's one you won't guess. What do you see when, what do you do when you see a green alien? Nobody knows? No. no. You wait until it ripens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As you can see. What am I? I am bright, but I'm not clever. I burn, but I'm not an, a bonfire. I sound like I'm a celebrity, but I'm not famous. I twinkle, but I'm not an eye. I can be seen at night, but I'm not the moon. Anybody guess? Yeah, I know what it is. Oh, come on, you don't. A star. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> At least he got one. Mm. <laughs> and he still didn't laugh. You know, yesterday I was charged ten thousand dollars for sending my cat into space. Mm -hmm. It come? was a cap astro. P. Oh, I'll do that last yeah, line again. Yeah. It was cat a cat astro <laughs> fee. Oh, oh. Here's another one. Um, you'll never get this one. You ready, David? What did the astronaut say when he crashed into the moon? I don't know. Anybody else? No. no. Here we go. I apologise. Oh, 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 oh. Good. <laughs> well, David, did you hear the one about Sherlock Holmes and his offsider, Watson? No, I didn't. No, better no, be good. Better be it's good. supposed to be a joke. It's supposed to be a joke. Haven't heard a good one yet. That might be a true story. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Well, they were out doing an investigation and it involved camping out in the bush one night. So they <clears throat> pitched their tent and uh, had a nice meal, uh, drank a few wines, and eventually went to sleep. Now, Holmes, in the middle of the night, woke up shivering. He was cold, but he nudged Watson and he said, Watson, Watson, do you see what I see? Look up in the sky. And Watson says, yes. Uh, I, I see millions and millions of stars, Holmes. And what do you deduce from that? Well, Watson thought for a minute or two. It tells me that there are millions of galaxies and potentially billions of planets somewhere in the universe with so many billions of stars similar to ours there is a high probability that some of these stars might even have Earth-like planets. 
Assuming that the earth is typical, some may have developed intelligent life. It means that humanity may not be alone in this vast cosmos. What did you deduce? Holmes, he says. And Holmes sits for a minute and then he says, Someone has stolen our tent. <laughs> huh. Is that supposed <laughs> to be a joke? <laughs> I'll just put this on so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I surround you, but I'm not close. I'm everywhere, but I don't take up space. I'm not always here, but you can use a man-made form of me. I can go through glass, and the glass will just look the same. What am I? Ooh. I don't know that one. Ooh. What could that be? A light. Oh. Oh. 